Hey guys, welcome back to Links here. In this YouTube tutorial, I will show you guys how to install Fabric on to your Minecraft server. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our server files. So first thing we're going to start off with is creating a new folder in your desktop. What you're going to do is right click, new folder, then you're going to create a folder. I'm just going to name it server for this example. Alright, so first thing you guys are going to do, you guys are going to go to your web browser. And you go to URL fabric.mc.net. Next thing you guys are going to do, you're going to select the use option up on the nav bar. Then you guys are going to select download installer windows.exe. So you go ahead and select it. And you can save it to your desktop. Perfect. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the fabric installer exe. And you see it's going to open up a little program. It's going to say client and it's going to say server. For this example, we're just going to install the server side. So you're going to put the server tab, select the Minecraft version you want and the loader version. For me, I'm just going to have the latest version, 1.16.5 and the latest loader. The install location, you can select the three dots and you install it in your server folder. And you can click open. After that, ready to install, all you're going to do is click install. Now what's going to do in the background is going to be downloading all this necessary files that it needs. So the server has been successfully installed. The official Minecraft server jar is required to run fabric. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the server jar. Perfect, as you can see, it has been found and has been downloaded. All you have to do is click done, and you can simply close this program. And you close the web browser as well, for now. Now, we can navigate to our server folder again. And as you can see, there's two specific files now. There's a server jar and a Fabric server launch jar. Whenever we launch our server, we will be aiming it towards this specific server jar here. So. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to go to our FTP and Multicraft panel, which I'll open up in the background. Alrighty, so as you guys can see on the left hand side of my screen, I have the Multicraft panel open. And on the right side of my screen, I have the FTP file connection up and running. Now, first thing you want to do, you want to make sure your FTP directory is empty. And as you can see, it is empty on the host side. Second thing you guys are going to do is you're gonna go to show advanced settings now you want to make sure when you scroll the way down where it says look for jars in you want to make sure it's a server based directory daemon jar directory is where your actual minecraft host has their own copies of the, of the jar but for us we're going to be uploading our custom jar so we're going to be selecting server based directory that's that you're going to ensure that it's selected and you're going to hit save on the bottom of your screen perfect Next thing we're going to do is we're going to upload the server jars onto the remote FTP server. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to your desktop where the server files were made, select both the files, click and drag over to the host, and then you're going to start uploading it. While we wait for that to upload, what we're going to do, the jar file that's going to be initiated is going to be fabric server launch jar. So what we can do, what I like to do is like to right click, rename, control C, Go over into the jar file section and paste it in the box and click save. Alright, so once you actually save that, all you're going to do is start your Minecraft server. You can go ahead and go to the console. Fabric is preparing um, jars for first launch. So that's how you know the server is actually starting with Fabric. Alright, as you can see, the server startup has been completed and I actually opened up my Minecraft game launcher in the background. So, I'm just going to go back. And I'm going to join the actual server. So I'm going to add server, put in the IP and the port. And as you see, when I try to join, it's going to say I actually joined the server. And there's actually one person logged into the server, which means the server actually is working. And one more thing to make sure that the server is running, as you can see, it um, when the server booted up, the FTP server, it generated a mods folder which the server is currently accepting mods. So, 
At the end, we actually finished the installation for the Fabric server for 1.16.5. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did making it. If you liked the video, like, dislike if you dislike. Any questions, comments, and concerns can be left down in my comment section. And as always, thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.